Hi friends, I am Dinesh Ram. Welcome back to another new video. Now today we are taking at the look of Windows 10 Creators Update which is Microsoft next major version of Windows 10 evolving up for all Windows 10 users for free from April. Although the name implies that it is for creators, the update is for everybody. It packs a bunch of creative features but also have all normal features you would expect to use in a normal Windows PC. We are starting with setup process. I'm just installing Windows 10 Creators Update. I'll just skip ahead and this is a new out of box experience that you would expect to have when setting up new Windows 10 Creators Update in your PC. It's entirely powered with Cortana to navigate through the setup screen but also you can use the mouse and keyboard in a normal way. As of now, we would be using Cortana. So let's look at it. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here. A touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is that right? Yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to stick with that? Yes. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? No. All right, you're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. Will you be signing into this PC using a personal account or one from your work or school? Want to set up a PIN? It gives you stronger security than a password. Would you like to automatically save your files and photos to OneDrive? No. Hey, look! It's the me part of setup. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? Yes. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them and select Accept when you're ready. Okay, that's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. And that's the new setup. There is a lot more in the Creators Update which we are going to look through. So the setup is done, and you would be taken to the desktop as you would expect. And then we get started. For your information, this bill that I am using to review is the bill number 15063. So the first way the changes get started is the start menu, which looks the same, but there are some new features. For example, I can now create live folders similar to Windows Phone. So all I have to do is to drag one tile over the other and drop over it. And now the folder has been created. Very nice update. I can also resize the folder as whenever I want. So nice addition to the start menu, allowing the customization a lot more. Other new addition is now you can get rid of the app list and I can make my start menu experience a lot more likely Windows Phone now. Now I can access the app list separately which would be great for those who like the tiles to be in the front and the app list to be in the second. Moving on to Microsoft Edge, Edge has a number of new improvements. One of the biggest improvement is a feature called Set Tabs Aside which sounds exactly similar to the task view in Windows 10. So for example, if I'm doing some report, I might be looking into Wikipedia and searching about space in the Bing and some NASA stuff. So yes, I'm doing my report and searching or whatever. But then I decide I'm done doing my work and rather watch some videos. Instead of bookmarking these tabs or saving them or minimizing the screen, all I have to do is to press this button right here and it will close the entire browsing session and save it for later. Now I could launch YouTube and watch some videos. After a couple of minutes, if you want to get back to your report, 
So to get there, press this button where you could see all the tabs you saved in your previous session. You could launch any of this tab or restore the entire browsing session. So this is a great update for those of you doing lots of different things in the browser at the same time where you could have one browser open with several tasks at the same time. And also I can have several browsing sessions saved in here. So very nice update and also you can add tabs to favorite and share tabs which would share the address of the tabs. Now there is another new change to the tab session. Now this sort of preview button which if I press will now give me an image preview of web pages that I have opened. So you can now look at a preview of the web pages which is absolutely fantastic which would make to use edge over the other browsers. Apart from this, there is a lot of under the hood changes to make Microsoft Edge a lot more stable. It's actually a little more stable in this build. So let's close Edge and move on to Cortana. So there is a new feature where the Cortana could pick up where I left which for now work when the country is set to US. What this basically intended to do is sync sort of sessions across the devices. So if you have multiple interesting computers and you are doing some browsing in one PC and you leave that PC and look into this PC that is into the same Microsoft account, you will see that Cortana will have listed all the things that you have been doing in that PC. This include the app data of the store apps to sync across the devices to resume your work wherever you left it. On clicking, it would open up the app and bring me to exactly where I was on the other PC which is absolute with Microsoft Word when you leave your work incomplete and come back to home, log into another PC and you can pick up exactly from where you left off, which is very nice update. You can also get rid of it if you want to, but it is a fantastic addition to the creator's update. I am sure that many people would take advantage of it. Now the other way where the changes is that Cortana can now activate system functions with voice. So before if you ask Cortana to lock your PC, she won't do it because she don't know how to do it. But now, if you ask to turn off Wi-Fi or lock my PC, she will actually do it. Lock my PC. Locking your computer. And also, Windows Hello is incredibly fast with Creators Update. So moving wise along, this settings app has received a number of new features and improvements. First and foremost, lots of things are newly built around. So settings are categorized more appropriately now, which makes sense. So if you want an app feature, you can just jump into the apps area here and you would likely find what you expect to. Whereas the things like power will be in the systems area. Very nice update. But apart from that, a lot of things have just been sort of newly designed. For example, the scale option here is more or less like adjusting the DPA in the screens, which is impressive. There is also a new feature called nightlight, which when on will dim your screen slightly even below the minimum level to help your eyes at night times. You can schedule this to a certain time and you can also adjust the temperature as well. Very nice update. There is also a new feature called the storage sense which essentially cleans up the temporary files and cleans up the recycling bin every 30 days. This is turned off by default. Excellent for devices which have low amount of storage space. Moving on to personalization area, Microsoft have added and changed a lot of things here as well. For example, you can now choose a custom color for your accent which is a great update. Now if you move on to themes, themes is an entirely new feature for creators update. You can now download themes from Windows Store, which would change the background image, accent colors and mouse cursors. Impressive. Back to the settings, there is a gaming area which includes personalization of game bar and stuffs. There is a new feature called the game mode which essentially just while running a game makes the system concentrate on the game rather than concentrating on the things in the background. So the game should hopefully run better when the game mode is on. There is also a new feature called Broadcasting which allows you to stream your games directly through Windows 10. There is also a new apps area here which allows you to move or remove apps and now you can also reset apps. If they are not working for you, there is a reset button right here which is also very nice. There is also an option up here which would allow you to lock apps running from outside the Windows Store. This is off by default so you don't need to worry about this. But if you want added security, you can turn on this option which would disable apps that were downloaded outside of Windows Store from running. You may also note that there is a new sidebar which is contextual depending on the options you are in. Which not only links to the old control panel but also to other areas within the settings app. While the Bluetooth area has been given a refreshed design with a lot of new features. 
moving on to update and security area microsoft has sort of redesigned this a little bit you can see there is a new little icon which is nice and if you go into advanced option there is now more options to pass update which allows you to stop pulling updates to this device for up to seven days but once resumed the device need to get our latest updates before you can pass it again now there is a new troubleshoot area here as well which will allow you to figure out issues with your pc in advance for example if you click on run troubleshooter button under the blue screen area the windows will try and see what the problem is and maybe fix it for you which is fantastic if you're having issues with wi-fi or program compatibility or power or whatever you can just select the option that you might be having issues with and it should attempt to try and fix it if it can't fix it then you are screwed or just browse the web and find related solutions but yes that's a very nice new addition and that is basically it with the settings app now let us take a look at the windows store so there is a new area in windows store called the books which is more or less same as the one in the google's play store which gets collected in microsoft edge in this new book area now there is a new paint app called the paint 3d and this is the entire reason for the update to be called as a creator's update because microsoft builds a new paint app the old paint app is still there and is completely usable although the new paint app is here which looks pretty nice if you go to new here we can start drawing let's just draw a face hi it's me got some hair and a body you know this is actually a nice app you get different sort of pen here you have got a paintbrush oil brush crayon rubber got a little pencil here and whatever else over here you have got objects such as 3d models Here's a person, nice. Oh, it is giving me a little tutorial here. I can turn you around, rotation stuff. Oh, looks good. Yeah, you can have a lot of 3D stuff. I can also have some pencil or brush over here and make him more green and give him a face too. Oh, there is also shapes. I can have 2D shapes and 3D shapes as well. I have got stickers, great. Oh yeah, that's great. I can also have it, I can also make it 3D as well. This is text uh, which you could normally expect. There's also 3D text as it should be. And what is this? There is an also an option to change the canvas size as well. And then there is also a bunch of effects in here. So nice, looks great. Oh, this looks fancy and this is an entire community over 3D paint people which Microsoft has built into here. I can now download things uh, which other people made. Wow, there is a lot of stuff here which you can download and place in your project and modify as you wish it. Yeah, that's basically the Paint 3D app. Here is a new and easy way to do the undo task called the time machine. Well, it allows you to start again as... None of this happened. You have got options here. You can publish your art into the paint world, the remix 3D, and bunch of settings as compact mode, which makes all to look smaller. Show perspective, show canvas, show welcome screen. Also, you can share it with the new Windows Share UI. And also, you could save and export with 3MF file extension. Now another new feature in Windows 10 Creators update is the Windows Defender. Microsoft has basically redesigned Windows Defender and its entity which is fantastic. Well I have got a brief overview on the security of my device. Jumping in here I can do a quick scan if I want to or an advanced scan here. I also have family options here to help controlling the kits app and browser control firewall and device performance overview i also have the option to run a fresh start which basically helped me to reinstall windows entirely if i'm having any issues with it which is good yes nice update for windows defender app which is pretty much needed with the creators update so there you have it which would be evolving out from april for free thanks for watching see you in the next one bye, -bye.